so this is part six of chapter five, uh, three. Um, you know, I'm going to toggle back and forth. This is the phase uh, four. It's still under construction with this thing. But I do want to point out some few things on here. As you, If you look at this very, very carefully is this method right here. Look at the box set. Okay. Well, how do I get to use the box? Now, box is your object. comes from here. And using the blueprint rectangle. Here's my blueprint rectangle over here. I'm using is the box. That's the object. Inside this box, I get to access, what would be my access? I use the dot syntax to call the set, all right? So what am I setting? I'm setting is the dot width and length for this thing. Look, dot width and length for this thing. So in the dot width and length of this thing, I want to move this down here a second here. Hold on. So in here, Okay, this is phase five. I had to, I stepped the wrong one up there for a few minutes ago. This is phase five. So, I'm going to call the set. Here's the set. This is the multiple statement that I get to use. Look, I'm passing in two multiple parameters, multiple arguments. The length, this is what's go first, and the width. So, this is my box length and my box width of this field that I'm passing across. And I'm assigning it to length and width. That's assigning to this length and width in this field right here. So when I output this thing, what I actually need to do is output git does what? It's a read. So I call the git length returns what? Return my length for me, which is what? This length is this length. Okay. When I return my width here, return my width, it's going to return the width field. This width is this width. With me? Get my area. Again, this is where you have to calculate the the length times width. You don't store it into an area. It becomes stale variable. Okay, so we want to do the mathematical expression right out to it. Cool? So that's that's basically uh, what's, what's going on with that demo. And it goes all the way up to page um, um, the one I just did for you. Uh, here is um, this is the one that goes all up to uh, phase five. Okay, phase five. So in your phase five, uh, make sure you, you know understand, read that, all that stuff with it um, that we cover about some of the stuff with it. And it goes all the way up to page 147. Um, um, yeah. So I'm looking at page 145 um, right now, 146 with it as well. Okay. Now I don't want to 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 take away from this. Let me go back to the PowerPoint slides and things that we we you know, stick on track here. So that was the multiple arg, you know, multiple arg dot Java with it. So you can pass across the multiple more than one statements with it as well. When you pass it in, in Java, all arguments to a method are passed by value. Okay? If the argument is, is a reference to the object, it is a reference that is passed to the method. Now, what I mean by reference to that? So reference, as you recall, in 1436, we had the ampersand next to the data type with it. And it tells you that you're passing across is what's considered as you write to that feel with it. Okay. So that's back then in C is passing is called passing reference with it. Here, if you're passing a reference, you gotta pass that reference in that method. Alright? If the argument is a primitive, a copy of that value is passed in um, the method as well. Okay. Uh, instance to uh, a field and a method. So here is something that you can look at. I'm going to pull some of the stuff up so you can see and walk with me. So instance field and instance method requires an object to create in order for it to be used. Let's take a look at our room areas Java. Just to make a few notes. Okay. Uh, note that I can still use the rectangle class and I'm creating kitchen, bedroom, and den by using the class rectangle and look at the syntax I have down here it's you know it's rectangle is the name of the class and these are, these are the the new rectangle methods that's assigned to these object call kitchen bedroom and den so give me a second I'm gonna see if I can find the the room area Java here so 
so let's take a look at the room constructor. What do I mean by constructor? You can see this in, in a second here. Uh, on the left hand side we have the finish rectangle class. It's phase six. This is the last rectangle class that completes that UML with it. And as you can see, again, just to make note, it does not have a main method in there, does it? You have to use a demo to actually to create that object from it. Here we're using what's called the room constructor. Well, as you look through this, let me walk you through the room constructor class with it. You got the name of the class is called room constructor. You got your fields or attributes, room length, room width, total area. And you need to declare some classes. You can take the name of this class called Rectangle and you can declare Kitchen, Bedroom, and Den. You can do this by one statement or you can do this by multiple statement by doing what? Rectangle, Kitchen, equal, new, Rectangle, method. Or Rectangle, Bedroom, equal, new, Rectangle, method. Rectangle, Den, equal, new rectangle method but you can do it all one statement with the same that makes it really easier with the same and of course the scanner class is the keyboard class that requires you to bring in what the import statement here so make sure you have that so you prompt the user it stores in the keyboard that next double this keyboard is this keyboard right here okay and that stores into this room length which is this room length and you prompt the user same thing the room width is this room width and the kitchen is actually store when you call the kitchen you can pass across multiple argument in this case and you're going to pass across the room length and width which is which are these fields that you have these two are these two right here okay now you can get another set of dimension get in store dimension of the bedroom so that was the kitchen this is the bedroom you repeat the same thing over you do the same thing for the den you calculate the area remember now get area allows you to do what now kitchen has the rectangle class it allows you to calculate the area so that area get area if you go down here and call the get area dot get area is this get area which is this get area so you can do each one of these objects because the kitchen, bedroom, and den comes from the rectangle class that allows you to use the dot syntax to access its methods. Okay, and that's the getter with it as well. Okay, so you calculate the area, it will multiply the length and the width, and you take the sum of it, add all three of them together, get the total area. So you can output this as your total area with the same. All right, so this is just to give you a, a quick synopsis of what I just shared with you uh, in here as well with it. So let me go back to this. So the constructor. Class can have a special method called constructor. The constructor is used to perform the operation at one time an object is created for the thing. All right. Let me stop right here.